the king waiting, 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 and they don't move. Just there. And okay, the king said, okay, even now, don't kill them. Mm. I am sure the God sent to us the limos mm. just to keep well mm. that shower. Mm. You want to take Jimmy and Justice here? And here, while we ascend, I'm going to show you one of the periwinkles that are endemic to Madagascar. Everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. We think we are mark wings. The heck? Bringing our kids all around the world. These periwinkle plants are known to help with blood cancer. Watch your step, huh? Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning. Good morning from the Isalo Ranch here in Madagascar. Today we have a wonderful trip to show you guys. We're going to pretty much climb a mountain and go to some natural swimming pools and show you the beauty of the southeast portion of Madagascar. Here at the ranch, I'm in Bungalow 6. So you'll see a beautiful view, mountains, rock formations in the background, nice bungalow, and I'm just having a great time. You know, I encourage you guys to continue watching these videos so you can see a different side of the world. So you can understand how people are living in this region of Africa and how beautiful the Lord has made this land. All right, guys, let's go. There goes my driver over there. Let's see where he's at. Hey. Hey. Bonjour. Bonjour, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for waiting for us. <laughs> what do we have on the agenda for today? The pool, the, the swimming, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Yes. The swimming pool. And yes. And Namaza. 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 Okay. What city is that? And what, what city of Madagascar is Namaza? It's the name of the next um, next camp. Next camp? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Bah. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready, Cream? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're on our way, guys. Safari days. Oh my goodness, I, I drank the wrong water. Oh, the <laughs> the water out of the tap that we got from three hotels ago. Yeah. <sighs> what about the other um, waters? They're still back yeah, there. Yeah. Not me behind you. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna need to bring one more. Yep, yeah, I will take it later. Yeah, drink it from the tap, huh, cream cream? <laughs> It tastes different. Yeah, it tastes different. That's what happens. It's okay. You'll be all right. All right, yeah. that's the reception right there. Madagascar, baby. Well, I get sick. You won't get sick. I won't. Madagascar. I'm not like you. The king waiting, 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 and they don't move. Just there. And okay, the king said, okay, even now, mm. don't kill them. Mm. I am sure the God sent to us the limos mm. just to keep well mm. that shower. No. This is the outside of the ranch right here. And uh, I am really happy okay. to guide you to your tour here in the Shad National Park. Thank you, Omega. And welcome to Madagascar, exactly here in okay. the bar area. Okay. Okay, now we we can start now because uh, the time is money. <laughs> <laughs> time is money. You don't have enough to, time to visit all because the big big national park one of the biggest one of the biggest mm -hmm. but not biggest the biggest is the uh, Mashwala National Park mm -hmm. on the uh, coast eastern coast uh, north of Madagascar mm -hmm. because uh, Mashwala it's uh, 285,000 hectares here is 81,000 uh, uh, yeah hectare yeah and uh, I am sure Numen uh, already uh, told you about our tour today by but uh, I would like to to tell you again before I uh, I will tell you about the generality of this area because we are completely outside of National Park it means nobody live inside of the mountain except uh, 
the mountain becomes national park. Some of the Bara tribe, the Bara is the big tribe in Madagascar, exactly here. Yeah, some of them lived inside of the mountain becomes uh, the, uh, before. It means uh, before 1962, just uh, two years after independence, that massive becomes national park. And before it, the, some of the barrel lived there. Yeah. Okay, so about our tour. Uh, now we are driving to the car park, just uh, three kilometers from the seven national roads on uh, red uh, piste, on red uh, roads. And then we will walk inside. It means we we make a, a, a loop. Yeah, we start off natural swimming pool, and uh, we will finish in uh, Namaze Canyon. But uh, in Namaze Canyon, there is uh, like a blue and black pool. You can swim too. Why blue and black? Because just the, the color of the pools. Yeah, the blue is uh, that's around uh, one meters and half to two meters. But a small one pool, but really beautiful because it uh, looks like uh, uh, the blue sky, the color. That's why we call it blue pool. And the black pool, just uh, uh, 50 meters from the blue one, the black pool. It's the same canyon. That they, they both are uh, next to each other. Yeah. The black, it's why we call it black, because it's really deep. <laughs> nine meters but so many people have a swim in the pool as well yeah we will finish about it and then we have to go back to the another one car park another one that's why i said before we we make a loop inside uh, for ishan national park uh, not really uh, difficult about the way only one problem of the people who come here it's only the sun yeah, exactly now, April, then not uh, really hot, yeah, but around uh, sometimes 28 uh, at noon or less or more sometimes. But uh, in October, November, that's really hot. That's why so many people have to go back on the halfway and completely the season for the oldest people uh, coming here by the by the bus the big bus they are at 16 20 sometimes and the people who come here with the umbrella like that and the muramura you know muramura slowly slowly use the sticks uh, yeah and um, our tour in total around uh, around 12 kilometers mm. when you when we make all mm. like a site mm. yeah because for the car park now to get to the pool only three kilometers one of the landscape open and uh, we will see so different shapes of the rock mm. imagination mm. in the beginning uh, when we leave the car when we start to uh, climb mm. to the cliff, we will see the one shape, the shape of the rock, looks like a turtle. Mm. Yeah. And on the way, just you turning your head around, mm -hmm. you will see so different. Like a head of dinosaurs, like a crocodile. Okay, I'll let you to guess it when we are even there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because one of the uh, uh, landscape national park in Madagascar that uh, uh, Ishalu. Ishalu is what is means Ishalu mm. in general no signification mm. no signification just only the name of the geological formation of the region mm. yeah I have to explain you when we arrive uh, on the cliff about uh, the geological I am not expert but according to the our uh, trainer yeah I, I just tell you only sandstone rock sandstone 
nor granite nor uh, limestone here okay after I explain you I will explain you about and we see a little bit the color on left side is national park it's a really colorful yeah orange green the green is it's uh, lichens the lichens my view now it's uh, symbiotic of uh, fungus and uh, um, mushrooms yeah we have four species of them here this is why you gotta have a high and lifted vehicle if you don't have that you're not gonna make it through this natural pool down there you gotta have, look at this guy i don't even know what that is is that a jeep I don't know. Discovery something. Land Rover? <laughs> Let's hope he makes it. I don't know. He's contemplating it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I think he put it in too low. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh -oh. He has it on creep. Does he have wheel locking hubs? I think he has wheel locking hubs. Oh. He has to manually lock them actually. Hmm. He should put the lock before. Yes. <laughs> Off roading. Off roading. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh It's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we start and uh, don't forget your stuff. Okay, okay we get out here. Clean. Super muddy up the hill, so we gotta walk. One and the uh, sun clean. Okay, baby, let's get uh, water. One more water back there. <laughs> Alright, on we go. It's a little bit muddy as you can see already. So. We have to do the rest of the trek on foot. This is safari life, guys, in Madagascar. Salo. Look at that mud. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't have made it through there. But it got stuck, boy. This is like Mindoro. Mindoro? Yeah, this reminds me of Cameroon and Haiti. Zebu, Zebu having breakfast. Salamu. Oh yeah. Top of the line. Looks like Madagascar. It's completely the form of national park. Oh. Yeah. And uh, here we are. We just start walking here. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was. Yeah. yeah. There is a uh, they draw something here. It's a ring tail. Mm. Because uh, sometimes the uh, the group, one big family, uh, they come in down to the small one forest here, yeah, and then we follow that way, just up until 70 meters elevation, it's easier, and then completely plateau, flat, mm. and there is one of the garden botanical, but uh, might be not the doesn't really necessary to pass on. Why? Because we will see all the plants growing here on the way. Mm. Yeah. And then it means we go directly to the viewpoint. Mm. The, the scenery really beautiful around the pool. And then we have go down slowly to the pool. Three kilometers from here to get there. And then after the pool, we will walk again across the plateau like a dead valley here because mm. completely hot. Mm. Yeah fall flat and a little bit falls up and then down 
to the camping area. It's completely Namaza Kenya. And after we have to go back here. The car park is uh, only one place as well. Mm. Okay. okay, so I like to, to pass it because I show the our yeah. ticket okay. for the park around there. Okay. I cut you quickly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Salut, chef. Where are we going? Yeah. Where are we going? Yes, go straight. We're going to cut the Oh, okay. I got bit again. <laughs> you didn't understand. No, I'm getting bit. That's, <laughs> that's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the biting should put on some spray, but we'll see. We're constantly moving, so I'm not sure if I truly need. Yeah. Uh, you, need camera yet. you know, yeah. What you said. All right, so here we have a sakua fruit that they eat here locally in Madagascar, and they also feed these to elephants in other parts of Africa. Here, these fruits when they're ripe they just fall down I think I showed this yesterday but it's a little bit dangerous because what happens is that when they're super ripe the mosquitoes tend to come to it and lie eggs into it and put the egg larva inside which could also transmit malaria so you don't want to eat it too ripe just kind of green is okay it might be sour but it's worth it to eat it in this stage not too ripe mm. so watch yourselves same family as the mango so let's throw this bad boy so cool yeah. and here's the view so far as we make our ascend up the mountain super beautiful Ali. have a field uh, bananas field because we have more water from the canyon. Mm. Yeah. And over there is the Ranushira. Mm -hmm. We were, we have been in the morning. Ranushira is, uh, there are two words. Ran, it means water. water. Mm -hmm. And uh, here means ring tail, mm. lemurs. Exactly, lemurs water. Mm. Only the name of the stream in the Maquis Canyon. Mm. We have another uh, one, uh, two site uh, more on the north farm uh, canyon de maquis in mm. french mm. canyon is a canyon mm. and maquis is uh, the ring tail mm. that's like a uh, madagascar emblem mm. yeah ring tail yeah because uh, during the period of the king uh, the king uh, in the beginning they lived inside of the mountain like i told you before and then when Malagasy government decided to create that uh, national park, they send off all the people inside. It means uh, the king with him family or with him people. And then they leave them, them uh, area and just come in out so close of the canyon. Just uh, two kilometers from the Maki Canyon, them village. Mm. And then during it as we know for the king he have the soldiers and uh, in the canyon there is uh, one looks like a waterfall mm. really waterfall and uh, the people call it uh, douche du roi mm. do you know douche du roi shower king mm. in english shower king and really sacred places mm -hmm. sacred places mm -hmm. only for the for the king mm nobody touch it mm. only for him mm. that's why when the king going back to the village mm -hmm. he let some of soldier to protect mm. him douche or him shower mm. yeah and one day the limos like a ring tail mm -hmm. coming down one big group mm. according to the history one group big group of ring tail coming down to the douche to mm. the shower Mm. and playing so long time about uh, two hours three hours mm. and they drank in the water drank the water and then the soldiers talk uh, each other what what we do we, what we because uh, the king said animals don't touch it nobody that don't touch it okay so one guy from the soldier side okay let me running back to the king 
and said to him, there is one group of big ring tail. Mm. Yeah, come in with me. And then when he came there, there to the village and uh, told to the king, and uh, the king was really surprised about it. Okay, let's go together. All the people with the king go, goes to the went to the to the douche to the mm. shower, and the ring tail still there again. Mm. And then the king waiting, 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 and they don't move, just there. And okay, the king said, okay, even now. Mm. Don't kill them. Mm. I am sure the God sent to us the limos mm. just to keep well mm. that shower, mm. that river. Okay, so don't kill it. Let them drunk. Let them uh, play it here. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then w I changed the name of that uh, uh, douche, the shower, mm. because not only for me, but for the ringtail mm -hmm. as well. We change it like a ranuhira ah. or ringtail uh, water mm. or limous water. How do you do it? Do you boil? All right, so coming up right here, we have the tapia tree and it also has the tapia fruit. The ringtail lemurs love this fruit, but they only eat it essentially once it hits the floor. They know well enough to not touch it until it's ripe. These trees are very special and endemic to Madagascar. Um, and in this Isalo Park, these trees have had a hard life. You see how th thick and dense they are. There was a fire here in 2017, a brush fire, which pretty much decimated this entire portion of the forest and mountain. So I'll show you, you see, you see the, the black, you see the black, you see the black. The fire was here and it shut off the park for a while. So the good thing about these tapia trees is that this is also where the silkworms like to lay their eggs in the cocoon. And what they do is that they'll take those cocoons and then make silk out of it. So the tapia tree is very important. Also the silkworms, they also make their homes in the Haza tree right over there, which doesn't bear fruit, but the tapir tree does. So silkworms are pretty much all over the Haza and tapir trees. So tapir trees with the tapir fruit right there. All right, more to come, a lot to learn. All right, and here while we ascend, I'm gonna show you one of the periwinkles that are endemic to Madagascar. These periwinkle plants are known to help with blood cancer. So I have had an uncle, Haitian uncle, Uncle Eric, who died of blood cancer. So what they do is they use the roots of these periwinkles to help with that blood cancer slash leukemia. So if you know anyone with leukemia, this is what they use here to help out with blood cancer, the roots of the periwinkle. All right, there you go. Yeah, this is our loop. Oh, that's so hot. I have umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> this Filipina has an umbrella. Look how beautiful. Umbrella. Yeah. Super beautiful. So, we're going to hurry up because there's a big group behind us of tur Dutch tourists. So, the problem is when there's a big group behind us, it's harder to take nice pictures because they're always in the frame. So, we proceed. Look at this. Here steps that they made in the rocks. Zibu troops. Zibu. Zibu troops. Oh, look at that map. It's the map for Ishar National Park. Look at this. Not Madagascar. Mm. <laughs> oh, Ishar. You can up on the on, on other side. Over side. Okay. Yeah, this is all the rocks. No, that's a character, characteristic of that rock. It's not from here. Yeah. Just from the, the park ranger carried. <laughs> oh, wow. Outside. Oh, yeah. Mm. Here is only sandstone. Right, right. The pool we will go now, it's in the, at the bottom of the canyon. It's mm. a green one canyon. Okay, 
to sit. Oh, are you doing panoramic? <laughs> you br you mess up my thing. You should have said you were doing panoramic. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have told me. One more. Okay. Go ahead and get that photo. Him, him, him no, oh, wide. Okay. No, wide. Wide. No, no, no. Wide. Yeah, I know. No, you standing there. We're both I'll in the photo. Yeah. Wide. wide. That's how we do it. It's a gangster Man. pose. Yeah. No, wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, child, mm. dead mm. in the bar family, and uh, they uh, uh, lived uh, on a tuliar, mm. and around uh, at least 50 years old that box. Mm. That's why it's getting rusty up. Mm. And the family decorated by the coins, uh, mirrors, mm. zibu, mm. and house because included in the rich family. Mm. Like I told you before, rich, it means bank, bank, yeah, zibu, like that, yeah. And they transported only for the transport, mm. yeah. And uh, from Tuliar to get here, around three or four weeks on foot. Not they, yeah, like I said before as well, they don't use the car, mm. only they use the zebu card mm. just to carry all the luggage, mm. yeah. But for the dead, just on foot, mm. yeah. I arrived here, they changed, changed that box mm. with uh, uh, another one box, uh, like a uh, um, made in a wood, mm. wood uh, coffin and put inside of the hole. Do you see the cave, the hole, no? Mm -hmm. It means here is uh, the temporary again, mm -hmm. temporary. Mm -hmm. And now it's getting empty, mm -hmm. the hole, because uh, the family already took out all the ponds inside mm -hmm. and changed it on the permanent mm -hmm. or family tomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's uh, just only the decoration. They put uh, decorated by the coins because uh, mm -hmm. to prove mm. the child included the rich family mm. and the zibu, a lot of zibu, mm. and they have to the big house. Mm. Mirrors, it means just uh, to connect, connected uh, the gods mm. and the person mm. dead here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. And they don't use it now. <laughs> they just to keep here for the people interesting about the the Baras custom. Okay. Yeah. I see the coin says 1972. Yeah, so old this, huh? 1972. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? It's, it's itchy. Itchy. You see yeah. it? Oh. <laughs> and, um, it's getting a butterfly, night butterfly. Moth. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Moth. It's a big like this, eh? Mm. Yeah. Clear, clean water. Natural pool. Oh wow, that's a naked kid. Let's not show that. <laughs> so that's got the kid to come all the way up here. That means the kid was also rock climbing as well. You want to take Jimmy and Justice here? Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Who do you think we are? Mark Wings? The heck? Bringing our kids all around the world? Watch your step, huh? Hanga kangana. Malaki laki. I let you for the photo if you like and huh? then I make a pee over there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There goes your tar, tar pit right here, babe. You can swim in this right here. Yeah. yeah. So the dinosaurs are, that's what they taught us, right? They taught us that the dinosaurs are in the tar pit and <laughs> they make the oil. <laughs> they don't mention they don't mention that anymore, huh? Yeah, the dinosaurs? Yeah. 
Mura Mura. Good job, Crane. Oh man. Freaking sock is wet now. <laughs> Same thing. Mura Mura. Yep. This is the natural pool. No, my socks are gonna be sandy. Little too. Salama. Salama. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs>